Hi, I'm Erin Gordon, one of the CPMC Genetic Counselors. Before you view your results, I'd like to give you some important information about what your results can and cannot tell you. When viewing your results for any condition, it's important to remember that the testing done by the CPMC only looks at your risk of certain diseases, but cannot diagnose a medical condition. If you think you're having symptoms of a condition, please contact your medical provider. Melanoma is an aggressive form of skin cancer that occurs in melanocytes, the skin cells that make up the pigment of the skin, hair, and eyes. It is considered more aggressive than other forms of skin cancer because it can easily spread to other parts of the body. Fortunately, when detected early, melanoma is nearly 100% curable. With melanoma being the seventh most common cancer, it can affect anyone. However, the lifetime risk for developing melanoma is highest among Caucasian individuals and lower among Hispanics and African Americans. Understanding the risk factors for melanoma may help you be more aware of your risk and in some cases may help you avoid risk factors. Some of the risks for melanoma include having moles that are irregular in shape or color, having fair skin, light colored hair, and light colored eyes, having a history of sunburn, especially in childhood, living in sunny or high altitude climates, having a family history of melanoma, having genetic risk factors for melanoma, and ultraviolet light or UV exposure. Although you can't control your eye color or your natural hair color, you can control your level of exposure to harmful UV rays by avoiding the sun in the middle of the day when UV rays are strongest, by wearing sunscreen and protective clothing like a hat or sunglasses, and avoiding tanning beds. The fact that melanoma has such a high cure rate when identified early is a good reason to know some of the signs and symptoms of melanoma. Some of the things to watch out for are a change in the color, shape, or size of an existing mole, moles that itch or bleed, or the development of a new, unusual growth on the skin. It's important that you tell your doctor if you're experiencing any of these symptoms. Like other risk factors for melanoma, such as family history or sun exposure, Variants in your genes can be another risk factor. It's estimated that 21% of the risk of melanoma comes from genetic factors, while 79% of the risk is from non-genetic factors. Your CPMC results will tell you whether you have one particular genetic risk variant associated with melanoma. Although there are likely to be many genetic risk variants that contribute to the risk of melanoma, represented by the green circles, your CPMC risk is based on just one genetic risk variant. Your CPMC results will tell you whether you have zero, one, or two copies of this one genetic risk variant. Here you can see that someone with two copies of the risk variant has three times the risk of developing melanoma as compared to someone who has zero copies of the risk variant. Learning your results and how they impact your risk may help motivate you to change other risk factors like minimizing your sun exposure or wearing sunscreen. Remember, melanoma is a complex disease, which means that it's caused by a combination of genetic variants in multiple genes and the environment. No single genetic variant causes melanoma, so no single genetic variant will completely predict your risk for melanoma. Results of CPMC testing alone do not diagnose melanoma or rule out the chance of developing this condition in the future. Genetic variant information can help estimate your risk of melanoma. However, other risk factors like your family history and sun exposure may have a greater impact on your risk than any individual genetic variant. We may learn of other genetic variants that influence your risk of melanoma in the future. As we learn more, your estimated genetic risk for melanoma may change. We'll keep you updated on changes through the CPMC web portal. If you have questions about your results, consider sharing your results with your healthcare provider or contact a CPMC genetic counselor for more information.